Uh, the title of this video is a free five minute chart day trading uh, tips. We are recording this video today because uh, I have been contacted by a trader who wants to know more how to improve uh, day trading on a five minute chart. All right, let's get started. All right, so first thing first. Um, one can go to the two hour time frame, all right, two hour time frame, and draw the channel. So here you can see I connect this point, and this point here, allow me to draw the first line, all right, and then I choose uh, one point here, okay, and draw another line that is parallel to the first one. So you want to do the same thing, draw all the channel, the declining channel, the rising channel, the horizontal channel, uh, this is one tips uh, for day trading uh, for on a five minute time frame. So you go first to the two hour time frame, you draw all your channels. You can also draw the horizontal key support and resistor level. You can also use uh, resistor one, resistor two, support one, support two, the pivot level. But personally, the market patterns, which are the rising channel, the declining channel, and the horizontal channel, are more important than anything else. If you want to scalp trade, your number one friend, okay, is the market pattern, right? rising channel, horizontal channel. So the idea is that we don't want to look for a trading setup on a five minute after because we want to scalp trade. We want to find the first, okay, a good reason why we should scalp trade on a five minute after. Do you have a good reason? So those good reasons, we look for them on a higher time frame. So in this example, I'm using the two hour time frame. We can use a daily chart, weekly chart, even a yearly chart to find a good reason why we should go to the five minute time frame to scalp trade. Well, I need to remind uh, uh, Mr. Singh, Mr. Singh uh, did ask me the question, unless you're a lady, my apology for that. So, uh, because we have uh, refunded your TST WSYZ08, I could not talk to you anymore about TST WSYZ08 because uh, that would be unfair to other TST traders, okay? So I will not discuss TST WSYZ08 with you, um, but I'm willing if you are because. Uh, I'm okay to talk about how to improve a trade uh, scalping on the five minute of frame. Another thing I need to mention is that the TSTW SYS08 is not for scalping, it's not for day trading. So don't 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 even try that because a trading system is about uh, specific rules that one will apply, okay, to time the market. So if you are trying to use the TSTWS as usual eight for day trading, you are doing something completely different. Unless yourself, you want to create a different system, that's fine. But when we are creating a system, there are a lot of things that are involved and we need to take that into consideration, all right? But what, we, what you can do, all right, you can also use the two four SP trading material, for instance, on a two hour time frame, before to find a good reason to find a trading setup, for instance, on a two hour time frame or the four hour time frame, look for those stochastic pattern, and then you break it down to the five minute time frame. That would be a better way to scalp trade. But generally speaking, talking about five a free five minute chart day trading tips. Right. Draw the channel first, or the channel like I did here. Very, very important. So, like here, the price going down. See, it's going down very fast. This is very, this is not easy for new traders. What you are looking for, you are looking for a new lower low in the declining channel, followed by a lower high. So, this is a new lower low in comparison to this low here, followed by a lower high lower high in comparison to this one. So when the price is going down, the price might SV, SV beat a new lower low. Here it is. Now if you form a new lower low, 
and then goes back to retest the top of the channel forming a lower high and the common subtrend line here this one here is broken you can now switch from your set time time frame which is a higher time frame two hour time frame hourly time frame daily chart to your five minute time frame so here if we are using a two hour time frame here as soon as this uh, Common center line, you draw the line very close to the line. I don't know why my software is not responding. All right. It's broken. You go to the five minute time frame. So when you go to the five minute time frame, you will draw again the channels. So when you are about to enter the trade on the five minute time frame, you will draw channels. All right. That's why you that's how you sell. You can also look for bearish chart pattern, bullish chart pattern, you see here. So you go to the 5 minute time frame, you see a bearish chart pattern here. That can be a good reason for you to enter the trade. But the trend lines are more important than anything else. Alright. So here, this is a good reason to go to the 5 minute time frame, looking for uh, timing the market correctly here, on the edge of that trend line. So if that's why how you sell that's the general rule if you want to scalp trade we can use moving averages stochastic but the price is the number one indicator and this method that's the way forward will allow you to avoid all kind of blah 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 on the other hand if the price is going up okay so you draw the channel first as i see it, to connect to this point and this point allow me to draw the first line and we just choose one point here and draw a line that is parallel to the first one. So, now the price, if the price display a new, it display a higher high, you see this is a higher high, in comparison to those high here, followed by a higher low. So in an uptrend, we are paying attention okay, to a new higher high. In a downtrend, we are paying attention to a new lower low. So we see a new higher high in the rising channel, followed by a higher low, at the support level on the edge like this you see here this is an invitation to buy now you will go to your five minute time frame looking for good reason to buy so if you did the same thing here to sell you will see that you see if you manage to time the market carefully in five minute time frame you see that you roll it down nicely sometimes there will be losing trade but the good thing is that because you are trading the price and you are not violating the market pattern you will have more winning trade than losing trade. Doesn't mean that every trade will be winning trade. Some will be losing trade for sure. Like here, some some trader, if you are not careful here, one can lose because the price went up. First. That's what I'm saying. The trend line are so important. Yeah. Trend line must be broken first. Yeah. See, it touched here, but the trend line was not broken. Finally, the trend was broken here. But again, it was a boom. The trend. This is a tricky one here. All right. So there will be more winning trade if you apply this method like this, carefully, carefully. You want to practice first and master it before going live. That's what you need to do. Master it first before going with real money. It takes time to master one thing. This is the problem that we are facing. Sometimes if you are a new trader, you are a bit excited. I was myself. You may be rushed, but you want to control that, okay? So in an uptrend, new higher high followed by higher low on the edge of the channel, we now go to the five minute uptrend looking for good reason to enter the trade. Then again, it went up a bit. So rise, declining channel, rising channel, horizontal channel, the, those are the key for scalping because scalping is not easy. And you want to combine at least two time frames. All right? So here you see, now it starts going horizontal, that's what I'm saying here. So here it starts going horizontal. How do we play? People will be looking for an opportunity to sell at the top. So they sold it here. They sold it here. Now it comes here. It's consolidating. We apply consolidation strategy. So from the two hour time frame, you go to the when the price reaches this level, you go to the five minute time frame looking for good reason to sell here. So again, on the five minute time frame, you draw your channel, rising channel, declining channel, horizontal channel, and you want to adhere to the rule that I'm telling you now, how do you sell in a declining channel, how do you buy in a rising channel, how do you sell and buy in a horizontal channel. So when it's also these people are buying at the low here, it doesn't mean that they just buy, 
hoping that uh, you go up. Again, the trend line will be very useful to you. The uh, chart pattern, very important. Trend line, very important. All right, on the edge. So people were selling here, people were buying here. See how you, you see, we are the 12 step frame. If you are the 5 minute frame, you may be taking out on the trade. You see here, blah, 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 blah. Okay, this is it, okay. You went a little bit to horizontal again here, you see, before you went up. So for scalping, uh, you need to work on it carefully. Before I forget, all right? If you are looking for a free trading system, go to www.stochastic-magdi.com. You put the cursor on more, you see here, it drop down menu cow. Don't move the cursor away from it, stay on it, and then hold it down until you see document. All right, document is somewhere. Here it is, you see, here this one, document. Click on it, all right? If you click on that document there, it will bring you to this page. If you did not subscribe to our website before, just click on register for free and then register and then after you finish to register go back again to document and now log in put your email your password and then log in and then download any scalping uh, okay uh, uh, free trading system there ts222 okay all right rts2 a two and five, okay. All these uh, trading system that uh, you can you find useful, download them. But when you download the trading system, the trading system is not a magic one. You want to read it completely or understand it, then practice, practice, and see whether it makes sense. Okay. Well, another thing for those who want to scalp trade on the family time frame, we can also go to www.dayprotrade.com and I click on a scalping trading how so again you click you, you just put the cursor don't click on it just put it on there just put it on more drop down menu up here you scroll it down to scalping trading how All right there's one here live scalping also is here you can also check that out okay uh, there's another one scalping trading how this one how to this one scalping trading how to so we also have live scalping so those are two pages two pages that you can check here and here it is so scalping trading how to check the video in your own time give it a time so if you want to become a truly truly fledged scalper you want to spend okay few weeks even months to master it so you will have a strategy that you are deploying all the time and you know exactly what you are doing every day, all right? It's not like you are just changing your scalping system every day, but you find one, you like one, you understand it, you master it, and you are deploying that every day. And that's how you can become a fully fledged, okay, a scalper. There is a difference between day trading and scalping, all right? Here it is. So those are the things that I can recommend to you. Uh, the GSTWS is usual eight is not for day trading. It's not for scalping. It's for swing trading. Trading system is a specific rule, and we need to adhere to those rules if you want to get a best result. But because we have refunded your money to you, I cannot discuss with you anymore about the GSTWS is usual eight or two for SP. All right, but. I'm willing, okay, to share with you tips and tricks that can help you improve your scalping on a five-minute time frame. So going back again, that's very simple. Try in a declining channel, but from a new lower low, followed by a lower high, common settlement broker, that's a trading setup. You want to scalp trade, go to the five-minute time frame and trade it. All right? Okay. Like now, yeah, I'm looking at the euro dollar. Okay, here we are. So there was, a, you see, this is how trader play here. You see, here, deep below it a bit. I can go on and on, talk about market geometry, but I don't want the video to be too long. Uh, or media line, blah, blah, blah. I don't want the video to be too long.
So sometimes the power will be below it like this, that's why your the trend line will be useful to you, chart pattern will be useful to you, combine at least two time frames, especially the two hour time frame is a very excellent time frame. If you want to scalp trade, you can use the two hour time frame for the trading setup, and then you can break it down to your favorite lower time frame, five minute or three minute time frame. All right. Personally, I prefer the three minute time frame than the five minute time frame, but the rule that we want to apply is the same. Higher time frame, channels on the edge, all right? And then from there, so now the plate, and now it breaks above it. So if the price breaks above a key level, another setup that you can use for scalping, break above, retest, then you go to So commas breaks above, retest, comma set like is broken. Now go to the five minute time frame, look for chart pattern, draw the channel again on the five minute time frame you can look for breakable retest to enter the trade on the five minute time frame or break below retest to sell on the five minute time frame or when you go to the five minute time frame you can look for the price display a new lower low followed by a lower high on the edge of a declining channel or if you want to buy on the five minute time frame after finding the trading setup you can just wait for the price to go into a rising channel display a new high high Follow by a, a higher low, and then trend line is broken. Gently, you enter the trade with a small, not too much, 15 pip or whatever. Oh, I don't. I, I, I talk about. Uh, I talk about uh, how to set a stop loss. That video is on YouTube already. So, depending on your own risk tolerance, what you are doing, trying to do, you set your stop loss uh, carefully. Okay. So I hope uh, I have not forgotten anything uh, that I need to share with you today. Uh, 70 minutes, that's enough. So this is it. So what I would suggest, because you are no more TSTW trader, you cannot contact me uh, about okay, TST anymore. But if you want us to talk about another topic, the best place is to go on YouTube, all right? Uh, put it in a comment section. George will allow you to talk about this topic as other traders were doing. And in due course, I will talk about it. All right. We are still friends. No, no question about that. Um, the only thing is that the time that I dedicate for TST traders uh, is precious, uh, and I cannot share with uh, anybody else. Okay. But the point I want to stress on: do not use the TSTWS as usual aid for uh, scalping uh, you can at least use the 2 for sp to look for stochastic pattern for instance on a two hour time frame or four hour time frame even daily chart or if you want to scalp trade like you want you can look for the stochastic pattern for instance on the hourly time frame or two hour time frame and then you break it down to the uh, to the a five minute time frame that will be something that you can do so there is a before the price will move down all right there is something that is causing it so you want to find the cause the cause is the trading setup so we are not trading any cause we want a high probability trading setup so i have also posted a video about high probability trading setup one simple example is that when a private form uh, I will go for instance to the daily chart. See one price from a higher high, so from a high, you see here, and the price breaks above that high and retest it. See here, there was this high here in this zone. See here, the price you see went down. Now it went above it here, yeah, retest in that zone. Okay, so break above the price here. This is a good example here. So this was this high here. You see here, price went above the prior high and then retest it here. This is a high probability trading setup, all right? Or price form a low, uh, okay? And then uh, break below that low and retest it and find a resistance. Almost set as kaput, we implement a different time frame trading method to trade it, all right? So I hope I have managed, all right? To answer your question, I hope you are not disappointed with me. Uh, but, but there are rules that we follow. All I will say to you, if you want to be a, a scalper, adopt the mindset of a scalper. All right, very very important. Uh, 
do not scalp trade any time of the day. Very important. So when the market is open, talking about New York, London, right, and Hong Kong, those are the three markets. The first two hours are the best time for scalping. If you are scalping another time, apart from those time frames, please be careful. Be careful because uh, you may see all kind of thing going on. So first two hours when London or New York or Hong Kong is open. After those two hours, it's not easy to scalp trade. Another thing I need to say to you is that when you want to scalp trade, you want to find financial instruments that are moving fast, that has a momentum. Don't scalp trade, scalp in financial instruments that are not moving at all. They are useless. They will waste your money. They will go all over the place. And especially if you're using moving averages, you want to use it for financial instruments that are moving. Otherwise, you see all kind of blah, 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 blah going. But the key point, apart from what I'm saying to you, the first two hours, the financial indices are very good for scalping. Major currencies are very good for scalping. There are other stocks that move also very fast. Understand the characteristic for the financial instrument that you are trading is it suitable for scalping. So if you are looking for financial instruments that are not moving very far, you want to trade them, then you want to look for okay consolidation. So that's why you want to look for consolidation, low volatility, choppy market. So taking two pips here, three pips here, your broker may not like it. Broker do not like it. scalpers. All right. At the end of the day, when you are scalping traders, use a lot, especially new traders, do concentrate too much on the indicators. But you want, if you are scalping, you are like a niggle. You want to keep eye on the price, understand the language of the price. I will show you one thing also. Uh, was he on the five minutes? Uh, you need to understand the price structure. That's why you are chasing. That's what the scalpers are doing. You see here, the price breaks above that consolidation. Now I'm on the five minute time frame, on the two hour time frame, you see, it breaks above. See how it come down here. Here we trade the other side. One, two, three, you see here. This is understanding the price. So it form a double top, like this here, and it came down one, two, three. We test in the top. Now they took it up. Those are understanding the price. That's what I'm showing you. If you want to start trade, you must draw the channels and understand how to sell in a rise in a declining channel and how to buy in a rising channel. How do we trade the horizontal channel? All right, and also break a bow retest the structure of the price, the price action. I recorded a video recently which I posted at uh, uh, two four stock trader YouTube channel. Check it out about uh, trading the naked uh, price action. I'm trying to help traders to understand the price action. Earlier we trader use the price action, the price structure. You want to understand the price action. You also want to understand candlestick bar, candlestick patterns can also help. So you can go for instance on the four hour time frame, look for a candlestick pattern that will constitute the cause or the root or the good reason that why you should go now to the five minute frame. So for instance, we see a bullish engulfment at the a support level, so the bullish but at a support level. So on a daily chart, first we draw all the key level. Now we switch to the all right. What is an hourly time frame or two hour time frame? Now we see a bullish involvement at the key level. That's very interesting. Now we switch there from there. We see all right, there's a high chance that it may continue to go up. Now we go to the five minute time frame, okay, to look for a good reason to enter the trade. All right. 24 minutes, that's enough for this video. If you have any more questions, just go to one of my channel, all right? All right, say, George, I'm Mr. Singh, all right? Would you, do you mind to record a video about one topic, uh, whatever? And then I will do that, okay? No problem, all right? So thank you for contacting us. I hope uh, you are not disappointed with me, all right? Let me know what you think, all right? Uh, you have my email, so you can contact me if you want to. You, uh, so, no question about that, all right? So, I hope you will find this video useful, all right? And uh, will improve your scalping, all right? If you have any more questions, 
or suggestion, please let us know. Uh, because I will be posting this video at the 244 Rice Trader YouTube channel. I will speak to other traders. So, traders who find this video totally, totally useful, let us know by giving us the thumbs up. If you, dis if, uh, you dislike it, please mark it down. If you think that this is an essential tutorial that can help other scalp level, all right, feel free to share it on Google Plus, on Twitter, and also on Facebook. Remember to check out the pages at uh, okay, dayprotrader.com okay scalping trading how to and scalping trading live there are videos that you can check out there and also if you want a free trading system go to www.stochastic-madi.com check out documents register for free re-login and download the system that is useful to you Anytime you have a new system, practice, practice until you master it before going live. Right? Until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy. We are the GSTW24 traders talking about a free five minute chart, day trading. Uh, in fact, it's not day trading, free five minute chart, scalping trading tips and tricks. Happy trading to you all. And I will speak to you soon.